Hi guys, you're very welcome back to Fallout 76. In today's spotlight, we're going to look at the Armco Ammunition Construction Appliance. Say that as fast as you can 10 times. So the Armco Ammunition Construction Appliance, or we're just going to call it the Ammunition Thingy Bob going forward, is a reward you get from ranking up the Raiders all the way to the highest possible rank. And once you've done that, you simply go in for a visit like so and pick up the plans. And once you have the plans, you can build this bad boy yourself in your homestead, in your base. You could find it under your resources tab. Uh, typically, we've been using the resources tab up until now to build our collectrons and um, our fertilizer producers. But that's where you're going to find it. And well, let's let's uh, let's have a look. So it's kind of like a miniature version of the machine you find at the converted munitions uh, factory, uh, which is there. Now at the converted munitions factory, there's a much bigger machine. It has a little computer on the side. You could select what kind of ammunition you wanted to print. I'm going to say print. We're going to assume it's a 3D printer style type thing. And away you go. The difference between the two, one, obviously, is this one is a lot smaller, it's a lot more compact, but also the second big difference is this does not need to be powered. So you can kind of plop this down nearly, and I say nearly, right, I'll tell you why, but nearly anywhere in your base, you don't need to worry about getting it powered or whatnot. I say nearly because my base is over water, and no matter how hard I tried, no matter where I tried, it would not go down on the floor because it said you can't place on the water. So I had to place mine outside in a little shack, as you can see here. Uh, but nonetheless, it has the little computer terminal there, which we can click. And you can select the ammunition type that you want. So 10 millimeter, 0 0.38, 0 0.308, 0 0.45, 0 0.44, five millimeter shotgun shells, fusion gamma, plasma, and 0 0.50 rounds. So that's nearly, nearly everything that you would find in the munition workshop thingy bob so you can lock this screen just like you can do at the workshop you can lock this screen and you have the collection container over here the output the collection tray if you will if we're going to refer to this as a printer now just like the machine in the converted munitions factory the maximum that this will hold at any given time is 200 so they both hold 200 before you need to pop around and collect them. So the difference, of course, is going to be how fast that this machine can produce those munitions, right? Now, I've timed this one, and it made 50, 5.56, five, in the space of 15 minutes. Now, that seems to be half the speed as to what you get in the munitions factory. I've seen 100 in the same 15-minute period. So this machine works twice as slow as the munitions factory, but holds the same capacity. So I guess no matter what way you want to look at that, right? At the munitions factory, yes, it's twice as fast, but you have to hold the munitions factory itself, right? You're, you're going to constantly be dealing with uh, PVPers. As soon as they see you've got a workshop up there, they're going to come up, they're going to want to take it. So at least here you have this in the safety of your own base, but that's still very slow going. 200, 556 in an hour. So over the course of a of a day, if you've managed to find enough stuff to keep yourself busy for an entire day, then yeah, you, you're gonna probably pop in a thousand or so. It's not great. It's certainly not what I would expect from all the grinding that you have to do on Raider Reputation in order to get this, this been the top prize, this been the ultimate, the pinnacle of what you can achieve from Raider Reputation. I'm kind of a little let down. It's great that I have something in my base that will passively create ammunition for me. That's fantastic. Every time I drop by, I'm going to have 200 more 5.56, five, which to be honest, a lot of my ammo, I'm just taking it out and I'm popping it straight into the shop here. So I'm going to make um, some caps from it. That's great, but I was hoping for so much more. I was thinking back to the, to the Fallout 4 days, you know, um, where you might have a machine like this connected to say a junk collector which will then go into a junk scrapper type thing and break everything down to its core components and then go in here and then print the ammunition and then output that into multiple collection trays so perhaps you know we could add 
multiple different collection trays, meaning each one would hold 200. And so we could leave our base alone and come back and have maybe a thousand to collect or make a whole munitions factory, you know, so make, make it difficult. So the different components we need to grind out, sure. But um, I, I will say I'm very, very disappointed that this is it. This is what you get at the end of that grind. Again, great to have, just n nothing special. I mean, for, for what it's giving you in the hour, 200, 556, five, it would take me less than five minutes to, to go out onto the map and gather the components to, to craft four or 500, 556, five, you know? It's nothing special. But as I said, considering it's just sitting at your base anyway, you're getting 200 an hour for absolutely nothing. I just think it could be a lot better. So it's there. It looks the part, especially I think side by side with the shop. I just wish it could interconnect with something else and could do something a little more. Um, it would actually be a good case for the scrap kits as well, right? That they're selling. But if you, um, I guess if there was a, multiple ways to earn scrap kits, again, as part of the whole grind and whatnot, that you're out in the world and you could have, you could be able to scrap a kit that scraps your stuff right back into the ammunition collector thingy bob, which will then start making munitions while you're out and about, no hassle at all. I think there's multiple ways that this could be approached or you know what, even improved upon as time goes forward. It's great, I keep saying it's great, it is great to have. Yeah, you look another five. It's certainly great that we have it. I love it for what it is. I just think it there's so much more potential in this. It should be able to do so much more. We should be able to make a small little shed like this, you know. Let me back out, but nice small little shed off the side of your house with a few little machines inside that are just making ammunition left, right, and center. And if you want to go even further to then actually have the end of that tie into the shop and have a preset um, cap designation for each type of ammo so it continues to fill the shop so from start to finish you know you could have that vendor just outside here you could have the door locked your whole ammunition factory inside maybe a collection uh, drop off here so you could just drop off the the junk that is needed and an output one here where it gives you back the junk that was not very useful when it comes to um to building ammo so there's a lot there that I think you can do with this. I really hope Bethesda hasn't just decided, okay, that's it. We've created it. Job well done. Pat in the back and go home. No, guys. There's so much more you can do. There's so much more you need to do. And hopefully we'll start seeing some of that roll out. Please, God, before all of us get to the end of these grinds. Because once we do, that's it. And I, I, I just want to see more from this. So overall, it's handy. It's great to have. I'm going to enjoy it. I make sure I come back to my base every hour or so and pop whatever's there in here. Great. You know, if someone pops by and uh, grabs some 556 ammo off me, I think I've got nearly 2,000 in there now. That's going to be 2,000 caps all coming from that machine. Brilliant. I just wish it gave us more or had a more interesting mechanic to it, interesting uh, attachments, something interesting to build from it. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on this um, ammunition thingy bob that you get to place in your camp. So this has been its spotlight. Hopefully you found that some bit useful um, or entertaining to view. I'd be very, very curious what you guys think of it. Do you think it's enough? What would you like to see different about it other than the obvious being give me more ammo and faster? <laughs> um, so comments, uh, comments below, guys. What would you like to see different variations, different attachments. Are you kind of happy what it is? And um, yeah, if you like the video, please do hit that like button and like the video. If you're not already subscribed, consider that subscription. Thanks as always. And until next time, take it easy. All the best.